they're useful and you can take them into your classes, okay? Sean, how do I get out of here? Can you hear me? Yeah. That's it, Edward. Um, I, I can see it. Oh, yes, I can click stop. There we go. There we go. Okay, right, there we are. Yes? It's recording. Okay, thank you very much. Um, yes, uh, my name is Edward, I'm here in Moscow, and I'm going to be talking about giving instructions. Um, it's something that, uh, when it, I do a lot of observations here, uh, and a lot of teachers are quite new, although a lot of teachers are not so new. And uh, always, well, very often, I see uh, instructions that are not very effective, and um, or sometimes they uh, are very effective but not very efficient. So we're going to start by talking about some of the pitfalls of giving instructions, uh, then we're going to go on to some of the, the real basics uh, of, of giving instructions again just a reminder, and lastly I'm going to give uh, you the tip which I give to almost everybody I observe. Okay, so we start, it's quite small on my screen, I hope it's not too small on yours, but uh, it's fairly academic actually. What I've chosen this activity almost at random from English file. Um, as you can see, it's a gap fill. You just have to fill in the uh, gaps from the verb box at the top. So here are some instructions. Now, they're not real. They're concocted by me, but they do, uh, they're do. they not totally unrepresented of the kind of thing you sometimes hear. Here we are. So. What I'd like to do next is I'm going to give out a text about tips about making instructions and it's got gaps in it. No, don't start yet. Later you're going to add your own advice, but first you've got to put one of the words you can find in the box at the top of the page into the gaps in the text like this. Blank, a list of positive, da 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 da. So look up here and choose the correct word which is made. Understand? What do you mean you weren't listening? Okay. Now, of course it's all, it's all made up. Uh, but, like I said, I hope it's representative. Now, we're going to take each bit of it and we're going to see what advice we might give to the teacher to avoid this kind of problem. So the first one... Whoops. Uh-huh. Okay, yes. Uh, it seems the formatting's not working. So uh, I highlighted the first one. So what do you, what I'd like you to do next? The uh, the advice I wanted to give there is be brief. Okay, don't don't give lots of commentary. Okay, look at the next line. I'll read it to you because it's not highlighting properly. I'm going to give out a text about tips about making decisions, and it's got gaps in it. What advice would you give to avoid that kind of sentence? Put it in the chat box. Mm. Mm. 